Solar is a scam. You've probably heard people say that before. And it's true if you go about it the wrong way. So today, we're gonna to show you how to go solar without getting screwed. If you've been researching solar online, you might have come across comments like this, or this, maybe even like this. Believe it or not, they do have a point. To be clear, solar isn't a scam. For one, you're helping make our planet a better place when you switch to renewable energy. But financially speaking, there are different ways to go about buying solar. And not all of them are ideal for the consumer. You might have come across solar companies offering free panels or zero upfront costs for solar. It's important to do your research when you're considering offers like this. Sometimes they involve the issuing of a loan, which can be a great way to go solar, depending on your financial situation. Other companies, however, offer this zero upfront cost through a solar lease. While leases allow you to get panels on your house at a low budget, there are five key reasons why they don't make any financial sense in the long run. Reason number one, yearly escalation rates. When you sign up for a solar lease, you have to pay the solar company each month. This will be a flat rate if you're under a solar contract or based on how much power you use under a power purchasing agreement. And here's the catch. Leases contain a yearly escalation clause that increases your rate by about three or 4% every year. To put that into context, if your lease payment starts at $100 a month, that would double to about $203 a month by the end of the 25 year term. What's worse, these rates escalate about twice as fast as the cost of electricity from utility companies. Your payments might start out way lower than your current electric bill, but that gap will likely shrink near the end of your contract. Reason number two, you don't own the system under a lease. Under a solar lease, you never technically own your solar system. You'll have to either return it after 15 years or purchase it from the solar company at the end of your lease. And remember, you're already paying them every single month you have the system on your house. In fact, if you miss these payments, the company can yank those panels right off your roof and repossess them. Number three, you lose out on incentives and rebates. Since the company leasing your solar is the one who technically owns the system, that means they're the one who are eligible to claim all of the incentives and kickbacks offered for installing solar. This includes the federal solar tax credit, which offers system owners a tax credit worth a percentage of their solar installation's total project costs. These incentives have a huge impact on your payback period and return on investment. But under a lease, all of these benefits go straight to the solar company's pocket. Number four, it's harder to sell your home with a solar lease. Since you don't own your system under a lease, it can cause headaches if you try to move. For example, you'd have to find a buyer willing to inherit the lease. It's a losing proposition for prospective buyers since their solar payment will become higher than the cost of electricity from the utility deeper you are into the lease. Also, you'll have a harder time refinancing your home because lenders understand the negative impact of a solar lease. Now, you could buy out the system yourself, but that defeats the entire appeal of a zero down lease and completely wipes out the value of your agreement. Number five, less savings on energy. By sacrificing incentives like the tax credit and agreeing to a yearly interest rate increase, you end up paying more for your system in the long run with a lease and miss out on the savings you could get by producing your own power. When you look at a lease or a power purchasing agreement, going solar can seem like a pretty raw deal. But luckily, there are alternative ways you can pay for solar and reap the full financial benefits from producing your own power. First, you can purchase all of the equipment up front and manage your own installation. Whether you install on your own, hire local contractors to help, or choose a mix of both, this method will help you see the quickest return on your investment. Plus, when you actually own your own system, you'll be able to claim the solar tax credit and any additional incentives offered by your state. However, not everyone can afford to purchase an entire solar system out of pocket. But fortunately, there are better financing options available out there besides leases. As I mentioned earlier, solar loans are a great zero down financing option when you want to purchase a system but don't have the cash up front to buy. The biggest advantage of a loan versus a lease is that a loan allows you to own the solar system and in turn claim the solar tax credit and any additional incentives. You can even use a home equity loan to finance your solar system. Plus, loans are more flexible and can be structured to suit your needs. For example, choosing a five-year loan versus a 15-year loan. Longer-term loans are especially compelling in locations with high energy rates. Think about it this way. One way or another, you have to pay for electricity. You can buy all your power from the utility company, paying more and more each month as rates increase every year with no return on investment. Or you can aim to replace your power bill with a loan payment for solar. 
If your net cost ends up being less than or the same as your power bills, you'll be future-proofing your power needs from the rising costs of energy. You'll still be paying for electricity, but by owning your own solar system through a loan, you're also making an investment in your house. According to a study from the U.S. Department of Energy, solar increases your property value by an average of $4 per watt of solar installed. But I know what you're thinking. Connor, if you add more value to your house, doesn't your property tax go up as well? That's not necessarily true when it comes to solar. In most states, the value added by solar to your house is exempt from property taxes. If you decide to look for a solar loan, make sure to look for ones with a fixed interest rate and flexibility in how they're structured. At Unbound Solar, it's our mission to help you cut through the confusion and get right down to brass tacks, whether you're looking at financing options, technical information, or anything else. So hit the subscribe button down below and make sure notifications are turned on so you don't miss any of our exclusive uploads. Until next time.